Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to give you a walkthrough of one of my personal favorite and one of the most stable custom ROM that is Havoc OS. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. I have been using Havoc OS version 4.6, 28th June build on my OnePlus 8T for the last 2-3 weeks and my experience has been majorly positive. The ROM is smooth, has a good battery backup and is completely stable to be used as a daily driver. It also has a plethora of customization options as expected from a custom ROM and on top of that it also has OnePlus camera working. So that's a win-win situation. Now let's talk about each of the aspects of this ROM one by one. Havoc OS comes with a shady launcher which is a light and minimal launcher. It is almost like pixel launcher but with some customizations. You can toggle between Google feed, at a glance widget and other various things on the home screen. And inside the app drawer you have options like hidden apps, icon labels and other stuff. You can play with the grid options and can also change the icon pack. So basically you get all the necessary features that you are going to need in a launcher. Overall it's a good launcher, it is fast, responsive and just does the work. Now coming to the second thing which is one of the greatest things about this ROM is that it has Oxygen OS camera built in. And it has been ported to a lot of custom ROMs lately. The camera works just as it used to work on Oxygen OS. Every single mode works fine be it ultra wide, macro or portrait and there is no difference in image quality whatsoever. Just have a look at some of the shots that I have taken on this ROM using Oxygen OS camera. So the camera just works flawlessly. Now let's talk about the reasons you installed this custom ROM, the customization. If you go to configuration center, you can see there are a plethora of options and I am going to walk you through all the options that this ROM provides. Let's dive into status bar. You have options to customize the clock and then you have the logo, the one that you see here in the top left. So you can customize that also. Then we have the network speed, carrier label and also the battery icon styles. You can also use a battery bar just like I have set it up to show at the bottom of the screen. Now if we go back to quick settings options, we have gestures like quick pull down, smart pull down. Then we have options to change the number of quick tiles to be displayed in the portrait or landscape mode. You can also toggle whether to show the name of the tiles or not. Next up we have lock screen. Inside lock screen you can configure the double tap to sleep gesture, fingerprint FOD options and you can also play with the items to be displayed on the lock screen. Moving on we have ambient display always on display. You can configure what all you want to have on ambient display and what all gestures you want to be active. And you can also change the brightness of the ambient display or always on display. Next up you have buttons and navigation. And under the system navigation you can change whether you want a gesture navigation or two button navigation or three button navigation. You also have some additional settings for gesture navigations. So you can play around with that. You also get other options like keyboard cursor control which lets you move the keyboard cursor using the volume buttons. Now under the gesture sections, you have a lot of gestures like double tap to open the camera app, long press the power button to toggle the tod, skip music tracks by long pressing the volume keys, three finger swipe to screenshot and also a lot of lock screen gestures including all the oxygen OS ones. Moving on we have the notification options where you can customize the edge lightning and heads up notification. After that you have the battery saving options and the first one under battery saving is sleep mode where you can schedule sleep mode and most of the battery hopping services will be turned off. So it can come in really handy if you want to reduce your idle battery drain. After that you have smart pixels and sensor blocking options. Under screen you can change the cutout style and the full screen apps. Next up there are media options. You can set up the music visualizer here and you can also change whether you want the album art to be displayed on lock screen or not. Under miscellaneous you get the gaming mode and it works as intended. And you also get the options to change the type of screenshot you want to take whether you want to take a full screenshot or you want to take a parcel screenshot. Wow, those were a lot of options right? But wait, that's not all. Under the battery section you can also set up adaptive charging to secure your battery health and in the display settings you can toggle DC dimming and you can also change the minimum or maximum refresh rate. So if you change the minimum refresh rate to 120Hz then your screen will force run on 120Hz. So how cool is that? And at last you have got OnePlus settings where you can toggle high brightness mode. Dolby Atmos is also built in in the ROM and it works flawlessly. 
and then there are options like fps overlay which displays the frames per second so it can come in handy while gaming and finally you can also change the strength of the vibrator so as you saw the customization on this rom are great as expected from havoc os you can literally customize your phone any way you like now let's talk about the performance this rom is fast snappy and responsive you won't feel any lags or stutters while doing your day to day task 99% of the things that you get with this rom are fully stable and it works as intended However there are some minor bugs here and there like double tap to power button takes 2 3 seconds to load the camera application sometimes after disconnecting a call the screen doesn't comes up but the bugs are very very small and these are currently being fixed with each release overall everything is buttery smooth and the rom just flies through everything that you throw at it with no hiccups whatsoever before moving on to the gaming performance and gaming mode if you are new here and you found some value from this video please drop a like and press the subscribe button The gaming performance is also on point. I have tried playing BGMI for 4-5 hours continuously and it runs consistently on 90 FPS as you can see from the FPS counter here. I have never faced a lag or a frame drop till now and my gaming experience is as good as it was on Oxygen OS if not better. Comment down if you also want a complete gaming performance video of this ROM. And finally let's talk about the battery life. The battery on this ROM is just amazing. I can easily get 7 to 8 and sometimes even 9 hours with no gaming and with gaming also you can see somewhere around 6 to 7 hours of screen on time. So all in all the battery is very good and you also have a lot of battery saving options. I personally don't use the battery saving options because the battery backup is just great without them. So I don't feel a need to use the battery saving options. All in all it's a very stable rom the performance is good the battery backup is great it also has oxygen os camera so what else do you want also the one thing that i really like about havoc os is that they always keep a good balance between customizability and the stableness of the rom so this rom is so stable that it can be definitely used as your daily driver and in fact i've been using this rom for almost 20 days and my experience has been just astonishing i would recommend everyone to give this rom a try So that's all for this video. Hopefully you liked the video. Smash the like button if you did. Comment down if you want me to try other ROMs on my OnePlus 8T like CR Droid or Pixel Extended. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. Thank you for watching.